Hello. Today I'm going to draw on something that is very relevant at this stage of the scenario in Russia-Ukraine conflict. The question I ask is, is the symmetry in Russia-Ukraine warfare turning asymmetrical? Now let me explain. Symmetry means to say that both sides are more or less balanced. Now, what happened was the Russian forces, conventional forces that came in, Ukraine has countered it. And they are more or less symmetrical at this juncture. And if I may draw a parallel to English chairs, Western chairs, right, it is a game of Fisher versus Burn. Way back 60 years ago in 1963, where you find very interestingly at the 11 move, and have a look at a chessboard, the chessboard that I I put up there, and in the video you have a look and you see that it is more or less symmetrical, 95 percent symmetrical. All the moves are mirroring the pieces are mirroring each other except for the knight and the pawn now so that is the chess game 11 move but then later on the next 10 moves as everybody knows it is a very famous game fisher beat but in just 10 moves now of course i draw on that game in order to to explain the concept of symmetry at this juncture. Now what happened, what, what I'm saying is if negotiation at this juncture does not result in a settlement, then it may just turn asymmetrical. Now let me explain this concept in, in, a, in a warfare literature. Now in the old days, right, way back 1990, prior 1990, before the, the, the fall of uh, the Berlin Wall, NATO, in order to counter the Russian armor, what did they do? The Russian armor, if the Russian armor would come rolling in from the east, then NATO would have could countered by TNT, tactical nuclear bomb, in order to counter these armors, because it would be asymmetrical, you know, if there is no TNT, TNT will counterbalance that. So, in a state if I may use another concept of equilibrium, in a state of equilibrium now prevailing in Russia, Ukraine, now you find that it's only logical for Russia to say that if you bring in new weapons into into the game, into in, into the scenario, you alter that, and that's what I fear. My fear really is that if no solution is found. To this conflict at this juncture, it may well turn asymmetrical with Russia using TNT, tactical nuclear, where a TNW, tactical nuclear weaponry, to counter this, and it would be very sad because in 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 a case of World War, why World War Three has to be avoided, because it will result in mutual destruction. What they call, it used to be a very popular phrase, MAD, mutually assured destruction, when both sides start pressing the button. And it's so simple, it's a pressing the button. I thought I should add this as a analogy, so, so that you know, Americans can better appreciate the Ukraine situation. Now, Ukraine is not exactly another country. In the sense, the usual sense of you know, of contrast between cultures. Kiev or Kiev is really the root to Russian culture, so it is, in a way, you can say is 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 a family affair that they have to settle. The Russian got to settle that we in the European, and 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 for very good reason. Just imagine California breaking away from the United States and being independent. 
Now, it's no longer a fantasy. It is a possibility. Given the state of what U.S. is in now, as an as economy, as a country, and California is such an outstanding state that they could well choose any like to be independent. And imagine if California were to invite China to set up a naval base right in San Francisco. You know, imagine all this. What would what, what would that result in? And if and you are in Ukraine itself, right? I'm I'm not into politics, but I'm into warfare and the soon out of war. And but then politics has a very important dimension to it. Furthermore, unlike China, China has declared we will not be the first to use nuclear weapon. Now that is a very wise move by China for humanity. In other words, unless it's really extreme situation, we will never, China will never be the first to use the nuclear bomb. U.S. different. It's a preemptive strike. And Bush have a list of conditions whereby, you know, the president would use the nuclear bomb. Now, therefore, my suggestion is really that now in this stage of the Ukraine, Russia, let us not add more fuel to the fire. Let the situation cool, calm down. And let's try and reach for a settlement. And I don't think it is a good idea to put more more weapons into, into Ukraine because that will, that will tilt the balance. And then that would mean that, you know, the other side would use asymmetric, would turn the whole symmetry into asymmetrical warfare.